Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel and here we are covering uh, Uber Eats clone. So I'm going to create a last stretch of videos on the Uber Eats clone which mostly talks about how we are placing the order, how we are placing the, the payment and then how we are going to handle the, the order delivery. So because this is all uh, process, we are getting acknowledgement from the Stripe that the payment is successful you update the payment status, you create the order and then assign that to the delivery. So all these things can happen asynchronously across services. So here I'm going to work on that only in this video and we will fix the APIs which we needed for the order and payment. We need to create payment, we need to create order and once there is a successful submission, we need to complete the payment, complete the order. If there is a failure, we need to cancel the payment and cancel the order, right? So we have to map all these services to the proxy middleware so we can call it. So this is a simple order. Currently it's create order, but there we will also need an update order because we need to update the order status. So here you can see here we have order middleware. So all the microservices has a proxy middleware added here so that we can proxy to the target endpoint. Okay, so we are just going to the service and we will check what APIs we are triggering. So here we are creating, renaming it to the, the proxy order middleware. I mean, we have cart and the order in the same microservice. They're just like a different entity. But I wanted to have them in a separate proxy middleware. So when you call API v1 order service, it should go to the order. API v1 cart service, it should go to the cart. So this is our order service and in card service we have I think the card and the payments. Okay, order service is taking you to the different endpoint and this is just a proxy middleware thing which will redirect you to the target service. Now, if we go to our services, so we are working on the front end and here we are providing the integrations. Okay, create payment, uh, create order all these things so we need to make sure that we are hitting the the right endpoint api v1 order service orders api v1 payment service payment api v1 card service card this is how we are making api calls so now if you look into this proxy here api v1 this is the base path api v1 order service order so that should be the, that should be the url and now we have all the code in the same uh, workspace sometimes it's uh, too much navigation between the different folders. We cannot get rid of this. This is how we need to live with because we are using Monorepo. So this is simple sign up and here we are on the payment part. We will enter the card details and we will see what network API calls we are making. We need to populate more information in the orders and the payment because we are not at, uh, putting lots of information there. This is giving us the bad request and why Yeah, because the restaurant information is not being passed while creating the order and I also need to clean the order service because order service I might have copied and it contains the old records. It contains the old controller, old services by just because might be I have just renamed the folders and created an order service out of it. So we need to check the order service and the payment service, what these methods are accepting in the payload. Currently it's a sending this bad request and now I have created this address object. Now I can see cannot read property of no. Okay, so this is the order controller. And okay, might be I am missing this uh, auth token like this guard because this guard is only putting the user object on the request. And from that guard we are getting the who is the user who created the order. Right, because we need uh, whoever is creating order should be logged in user. Okay, it is user ID, not valid constraint. Okay, it should be user ID. User underscore ID. I think we are not putting this correctly. It should not be UID. UID, it should be user ID. Uh, we can just log the user object what is coming back. So it's uh, some part of debugging you can say and you can see user object. You need to scroll up. Okay, this is UID user id this is the user id which is carried by the request object 
so that in the records like who created the order who created the payment who created a restaurant all these things we are capturing from the user object user dot user id so this is user metadata we already have a type i was just missing the types user id and now i can think i can create the order order is created successfully okay uh, order not found then i need to check the the path which we are passing create payment create order so it should be the api v1 payment service payments okay not the api v1 payments it's a payment service will take you to the target service and then you can hit the route 2004 this is the payments you can see it cart and payment service and i think it is payments s not payment so this is api v1 payment service API v1 payment service payments s so now the create payment uh, and update payment status should work and still we are getting 404 not found maybe i need to reload this and i need to populate some redux state data so i will just do the sign in add some items select the address and now i'm just filling up the payment information and now you can see the order created payment created that's good thing now finally we are able to create the order and create the payment i mean the payment is giving us this uh, intent id which we are using to confirm the payment and then there is a confirm is breaking so i got i think why this is breaking we need to see what the payment response contains because payment service response would contain the intent and that same intent we are using to confirm the payment from the stripe so i'm doing it again and i think it's confirmed now payment is successful that's good i just put alert to know that payment is successful and here you can see id okay this looks nice so we got the confirmation in the payment and then we are just acknowledging i mean we are completing the order i mean we are placing the order and completing the payment so you will place the order once the payment is successful and once you place the order then we can actually trigger the events and we can say okay start the delivery and send the acknowledgement to the delivery partner and so that delivery partner can go to the restaurant address and pick up the ad pick up the the item because uh, in order we contains the all menu items which the user has purchased so now here we are just uh, creating a put methods confirm payment that will just going to update the the status based on the success and the failure of the payment so this is the confirm payment and that uh, confirmation of the payment will happen through the based on the payload okay what is your status it can be payment is successful or payment may be a failure that we can take uh, through the body or request params or query params okay success i mean the status equal to success status equal to failure update payment body let's see how we do it so here we have, we have a create payment and then we have update payment so first we need to get the the payment by id maybe like we are updating a payment based on the payment id or order id we got the we will get the payment and then once you have the payment payment dot status equal to the required status and then payment dot save this is how simple it works i mean it was working earlier now the same way we can do this and once the payment is confirmed we can emit the event so all those things we will talk in terms of the next cs microservices what will happen once your delivery i mean the payment is successful and order is placed what will happen in that so similarly we have a confirm order and confirm payment these are the two different methods okay what what is a confirm order means you placed a you initiated the order then the payment is completed payment is successful that means order is now placed that means we can trigger an event and we can start delivery process let's say order is initiated but 
payment is cancelled or payment is filled then order is also cancelled right so that is a confirm payment confirm order these are the two different endpoints we are going to have and confirm order order id and i think we can have this query parameter status and we can convert this into patch so we don't need a body here because uh, we can manage all these things inside just a query parameter which contains the status export class update or update by id dto it can be first to id is actually path parameter that you need you need to have an id of order id and the payment id we are creating these uh, both the apis parallelly because order confirmations and payment confirmations are somewhat similar we are just updating some status for that so this is update order here we are passing the user who created this order now who is updating it and here update uh, by mm -hmm. query idto and this is a status which can be enum right status is like success and a failure we will just convert this into the enum example is actually success or failure and example is simply success it's required by default we will consider it as a false now if you are getting things from the query right then you need to use that at the rate query this is a, like a decorator we have already have so user params and query and this is confirm order we can do and the same thing we can do in the payments payment controller we can con convert into patch confirm payment and we'll pass the id So here also we can just do two different IDs. One is a path param, the UUID is for which you want to update the payment and the query parameter, okay, what is your payment is successful or payment is failure. So it's like a simple, maybe I will just copy these details so that we can uh, get this quickly. So this is just a payment ID and the status is still success and failure. You can convert this into enum so that uh, you can also expose these enum values in the Swagger docs so you can trigger this API easily. Okay, here we are passing params and the query. Queries and now we already have these types. So this is param. And then uh, query is of type this. just fix the import and now we got the, the parent so it's a parent.id we are trying to first find the payment for which you wanted to update if payment is found then we are good then we can update it status equal to query dot status and then just to the payment save so it's a, like a very simple api which is just finding the payment by id and if payment is found then just update the status based on what status you are sending in the query parameter if payment is not found then obviously we need to send an exception through through new not found exception so this is confirm payment and then similarly we can have a confirm order because what order contains order is also we are actually confirming the order once the payment is successful so here an update order or a confirm order these are the types we are getting param update by id dto and the query where update by id query dto naming can be a little bit better so in both the services we are doing it and here instead of all doing all these things we are not creating an order or we are not calculating the menu items here we are just updating the status based on uh, your order Okay, so this is ID. So we are updating the order, we are confirming that order. And so here you can play with the statuses. Okay, because uh, there can be a global or order status, order initiated, order confirmed, order initiated, payment done, and then order confirmed. Okay, order confirmed means payment is done. That means then you can have a delivery partner assigned. So there can be a five, six status initiated in progress, um, order confirmed, partner assigned, delivered, 
closed right this can be the the status for your order or payment payment is just like a success and failure payment initiated payment succeeded payment failed for order it there can be multiple status and based on each status we can handle the incoming events at the different services so here we have update payment and this is the api looks like api v1 payment id so you pass the id and you pass the query parameter success and failure success and uh, failure so that will update the payment status because you are currently logged in you can update the payment status if there is a failure while doing the payment and then you need to again initiate a new payment and new order if you are trying with the stripe again so we are totally safe it's not like okay uh, we are still reusing the the failed order or failed payment always you will create a fresh payment and fresh order and once the stripe is success both will be acknowledged both uh, through the put api that okay order is confirmed and after uh, the payment is successfully done so here we are just fixing the apis okay we need to pass the status success or failure and then we also need to pass the id for which we are updating the payment so just take the id as an input and then just uh, put this id it's a put uh, so you can just put a dollar id and remove these in the put this in the back text so this is status is success this is how i'm doing integration first of all so this is the confirm payment patch and then confirm order patch we are passing id and a status similarly there is a there can be two other method which is the failure okay confirm payment and update payment so here we are doing confirm order and confirm payment payment dot id so payment is uh, confirm payment create payment and how we are doing create payment should be returning lots of things currently it's just returning a stripe intent but what mm -hmm. i'm going to do i it's we should merge the response we should also get the payment id so i got the payment status and i will i can return the entity response coming from type orm with this payment status coming from the stripe so id is a payment dot id and then i can also merge this with the pay status i think this should work we are destructuring the payment status so we because we need a payment id and create payment is inside a promise so we need to get the payment id from the response right and that response will contain the id because here we are not using the id anywhere the stripe uh, intent id we are just using the client secret coming from that so it's a response dot id res is everywhere so we can just convert this into the payment response so there is a no name conflict okay this is on the success confirm order confirm payment and we are passing the order it in the payment id and uh, we are calling the respective methods confirm order instead of confirm order and confirm payment there will be a cancel order and a cancel payment and we will just pass the query parameter success equal to failure that will do the thing because we are updating the status in the respective service okay this is like cancel order and the cancel payment and here i think well, let's see what we are getting the payment here we are getting id and a status so because earlier the await was missing in the this dot stripe so we have to await this before getting the response you can just return a promise to the controller and the controller will resolve it that's the beauty of nest js even you can return a uh, uh, unresolved promise it will resolve it and it will send a response back so here we got the id which is uh, okay this id we don't need we need uh, id which is so we will override it so whatever the id is coming we will override it to the payment id so now it will work we'll confirm this from the payment you can see id this is a type orm table id and we are good this id we need 
to confirm the order or confirm the payment because same id we are using in the later phase once your payment is successful and now car cannot fetch this api v1 order or for not found so let's see if we have an order service order and status let's see what is wrong maybe something with the url okay there is a confirm order so that's wrong right we are not allowing you to pass this additional query parameter additional path name it's a simple id now what is the problem now it's page confirm order find one so this is how we need to debug confirm order cancel order you can even payment service payments and orders let's see if the name is correct because sometimes what happens is we are not passing the names correct orders or order payments or payment in the the path parameters so i'm just reloading and launching the application again and trying to submit this so we can submit the default credit card information and submit it payment is successful and order is successful that's what we just did to reload the page that's why it was not reflecting the correct uh, api url to confirm order and confirm payment now it is working fine we got the order confirmation uh, these are the items this is the restaurant this is the this is the payment status and this is the payment so everything is there in the order and the payment summary now next thing is once you confirm the order order is confirmed right we can start playing with the sending the event so that this particular order id with this order menu items can be handled by the delivery partners so we can add some navigations because currently our pages are splitted we are just navigating randomly so we can start with the home page headline card so here we can just go to take you to the the restaurant landing page so we can use use navigate navigate uh, and pass the path parameter here navigate dot push now just a bracket inside that you can pass the the whole path each restaurant okay similarly each checkout each chat each tracking all these path parameters path we are going to construct and here when you are doing checkout so we will just register go to now we are coming to the restaurant page and from restaurant there is a checkout which is on the right side bar so on the checkout we should be able to go to the cart option so there is a eat checkout that will take you to the payment status or payment uh, information page again so here we can define the the same go to method that will take you to the navigation page so you can do the internal navigations based on your comfort like how we are doing this left side bar and the right side bar buttons and there are some buttons on the landing page this should take you to the search page restaurant landing page cart page and all okay here we are doing a simple navigate to eats and then there is a checkout page okay let's see that the next part is what should happen when you confirm the order after getting the payment success